Welcome to Shoot Around, the Halifax Thunderbirds pregame report ahead of this evening's matchup against the Saskatchewan Rush. Tyson Geik, Pat Gregoire, Pete Dalladay, gentlemen, let's get right into it. Uh, we've talked so much about this, but this matchup, the last time that these two teams played in February of 2020, one of the most electric games of the entire season. Some called it the best game of that whole season. These two teams have the best odds to win the NLL Cup, so tonight's matchup promises to be a phenomenal one. The fans have it circled on the calendars. I'm sure the players had it circled on the calendars. And then it's not just because it's the first game that we've had in, you know, 635 <laughs> days, but who's counting? Uh, it's because these two teams put on an absolute show, top programs, not just, you know, last season, but over the last few seasons two great franchises and they're ready to put on another show here tonight i can't wait to get going yeah. guys pete you were in the building the yep. last time that these two teams played halifax thunderbirds down 12 to 3 storm back in that third quarter and this building must have just been on fire it, it erupted and it was one of the best lacrosse games and you guys know i've seen a lot of games man cup games we've done games together that was yeah. one of the best regular season lacrosse games i've ever been a part of uh, broadcasting and watching it was just electric cody jameson talked about it earlier today though it was still a loss for the halifax thunderbirds and a tough one but it was a win for the organization it really helped grow the game here uh, after that game in halifax yeah speaking with chris corbiel the captain of the Saskatchewan Rush ahead of the game. He was saying, and, and this guy's a guy who's played so many lacrosse games, yeah. one of the top two games that, that he's ever played in. It was just absolutely wild. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the Halifax Thunderbirds right-hand side of the floor. We had two guys throughout the course of training camp that were fantastic. I would say there's an argument to be made, but two of the best for the Thunderbirds in training camp. That's Chris Bushy. Clark Peterson, Chris Bushy pushing for that spot in the lineup tonight, Pat. Yeah, Chris Bushy had a tremendous camp and talking to Cody Jamison, the captain of this team, and also Mike Kersey, both of them, their answers when talking about Bushy were almost word for word the same. It wasn't just about how he's been playing on the floor, but it's how he's been carrying himself. A lot of maturity, and I think he, he learned that, you know, him not being in the lineup every single game, that kind of stung him. He was a player that never really experienced that before. Took that to heart, uh, had a lot of work in the offseason physically and fine tuning his game, and it's really showing. And I think he's going to be an unbelievable com uh, contributor for this well, team. He made that statement in, in the purple and orange game yeah. right, right off the hop. He was the best player in the first half of that game, so proved a point there. Don't forget, you know, we, we got to mention the likes of Austin Shanks, who had that five goal game in that Saskatchewan yeah. game. You know, he, he's streaky, he can get on a run like that, and, and also your guy, your, your guy from the beach is there as play. well, Stephen Keel. Uh, be watching for him on that side too. Yeah, and Keel. He's in the best shape I've ever seen him. And you mentioned the other name, uh, Clark Peterson. This is a guy that I think legitimately can be a top 10 scorer this year. No questions asked. And another guy that has brought his maturity level just seems like a different guy when he comes onto the floor. He has that same, uh, you know, hardworking mentality, uh, but now he feels more immature, more confident. I'm so excited to see what he can do this season. They got the chance to speak with Austin Shanks ahead of the game. He said that he wants to really be focused on consistency throughout the entirety of the season. And if he's able to put up a performance like he had the last time that this team took on the Saskatchewan Rush, I think <laughs> Thunderbirds fans can expect great things. You're going to be yeah. seeing his name yeah. and his face on, on Bill <laughs> Boards yeah, around town. Absolutely. Uh, let's move to the Saskatchewan Rush side of things. Maybe a bit of an unproven netminder if we're continuing on that theme of consistency with Adam Shute, right? He filled in for Evan Kirk when he was a starter for the Saskatchewan Rush. Kirk goes down with injury. Shute plays a six and one record. But when it comes to being a number one netminder in this league, he's still relatively unproven. I would imagine that the Halifax Thunderbirds have to have this high in their list is just get to shoot early. Yeah, that's what I think they're going to want to do. And it's not just to getting him to early. Uh, it's getting to the, the areas that Saskatchewan doesn't want him to see those shots. Getting to the middle of the floor. Uh, capitalizing on power plays. Scoring in transition. And it's not... Uh, you know, falling into the lull that sometimes happens when you play Saskatchewan, they put you in positions where they want you to shoot uh, from the outside. So it's those easy shots that you can see. He can start slow, and that's where he'll gain his confidence. If you can score a couple of quick ones, get this place buzzing around here, that's the formula to maybe start to make shoot second guess himself. But a couple of outside shots early, get his confidence going, get the defense's confidence going, that's the recipe that Halifax doesn't want to fall into.
Yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, yeah, he filled in for Kirky a couple years ago. Not a lot of pressure there, right? Yeah. But now as a starter, is there right. more pressure because you're the number one guy? Technically, nothing really changes. He's just as good. But will he feel any pressure from what I understand? I don't know him personally, but he's ready for it. Yeah, yeah, the Saskatchewan are saying before the game that they have full confidence yeah, in Adam Shute. When he did play, they didn't seem to miss a beat. So really interested to see what goes on with that this evening. Now, last but certainly not least about this evening, it is Every Child Matters Night, a great initiative that the Halifax Centerbirds are kicking off uh, tonight. We've got some very special jerseys that have been designed by team owner and general manager Kurt Styers and longtime Thunderbirds employee Charlie Ragusa. Uh, just an incredible design. The handprints of residential school survivors on the back here, as you can see, and also family members of the Halifax Thunderbirds. Tonight it is more than just a lacrosse game. Absolutely, yeah. and it's great that this is the way that we're kicking off this season. And, um, you know, it's it's tough and difficult to have these conversations and uh, but it's something that needs to be done and um, mm -hmm. you know with reconciliation that's it uh, that's what's got to happen yeah. first is those conversations and awareness and yep. kudos to Kurt Styers and the entire Halifax Thunderbirds for having uh, this night here um, on, on the biggest stage possible yeah I mean you look at you look at the jersey and you look at the numbers there's numbers on there number 84 that I mean Kurt Styers mom her name was taken away from her and she was assigned a number that's what that represents ants on the shoulders and, and Cody Jamison's grandmother uh, Donna as well uh, representing there I believe they're on number 62 if I'm not mistaken Mistaken. So th that's the significance. It's going to be an emotional night for sure. Yeah, no, Absolutely. These jerseys will be auctioned off prior to the game. Uh, all the proceeds are going to residential school survivor programs across the province and country. So again, great initiative that the Halifax Thunderbirds are doing. We're going to see Every Child Matters logos on the back of every team's helmet throughout the course yeah. of the season as well. So all 14 teams uh, will kind of be in on this initiative that was kicked off by the Halifax Thunderbirds. Tonight's matchup promises to be a great one. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of Shoot Around the Halifax Thunderbirds pregame report. Game time is 7 p.m. against the Saskatchewan Rush. Buckle up.